Uh, hello everybody, the TMD1998 here. Um, I'm actually sad right now. I'm very upset uh, that I have to make a video of this. That um, about an hour ago, I get texts from my friends, um, different people, and, and notifications that Daniel Bryan announced his retirement on Twitter. I really, really hope that it was like someone hacking into his account and t just tweeting that. What? And about 15 minutes after I learned that, um, WWE confirmed that it was true that Brian announced his retirement. So, I mean, I, I really, really hope that this is a swerve. Um, for WWE, I doubt it is. I, I really do. Um, with what Brian has gone through, I mean, I just doubt that this is a swerve at all. Um, obviously, his health has something to do with it. Um, his health has been very, very bad over the past couple years. I mean, he it's just not been good. Um, so he's had a lot of neck problems and. Um, been hard for him with Daniel Bryan. If it's not true, and which I think it isn't true, um, thank you so much for what you did to, to for what you've done to this company and what you've done for this company. You've sacrificed your body. You've done everything for the WWE, and from me. From Phil, from Nick, from Derek, from every WWE fan that has watched you, I want to thank you. From the bottom of my broken heart right now, I want to thank you for what you've done because you are you are completely WWE right now. Like you, you like completely transcended everything that was WWE and completely took it to another level. Um, the Yes Movement, how popular that got, and you are the absolute best underdog story ever, ever. You are the underdog story, and everyone loves you for it. So, Daniel, if this is true, um, and if it, it, I don't want it to be true, but if it is true, please, like, don't get back in the ring. Please, like, I mean, if you can't wrestle, don't wrestle. Go on. Uh, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I got to see you live on a SmackDown. Uh, back, the it was supposed to be the day after the Rumble, and then it got canceled last year. The last year's Rumble, um, it got canceled, and then we got to go to SmackDown. I saw you in a casket match with Kane, um, and just seeing the Yes movement. That was the only time I was there for the Yeses, and and you were there. The only time, and yes, 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 it was insane. And Daniel, you, like, what you did for WWE was amazing. I really want to thank you so much for for everything that you've done for this company. Um, and just best of luck in your future endeavors. I hope this isn't the last time. Um, we we see you in WWE. We obviously know that you're gonna be here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, we're gonna see you on Monday Night Raw. Um, you're gonna, I, I can explain what happened and why you're really retiring. I um, I don't know. I I really. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous that that but what you've done for WWE and 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 to see it end this crappy way and and to know that you are gonna have to retire. Uh, it's something that um. It's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. I was here for your first, for your NXT days, your days in NXT. I mean, it was amazing what you would do. You and I remember a lot of the competitions you had. Um, I remember when you came to join the Nexus and then joined Cena's team. You were kind of dropped off the face of the earth. I, I knew how good of a wrestler you were. I was like, that guy's gonna be amazing. And 
nobody else believed it. And you just continue to believe it. Dead Brian. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I wish you nothing but the best. And um, best of luck to you. Best of luck to your wife, Bree. And um, I hope this is the last time we see you. Um, in WWE, at least. I mean, maybe you could do commentary. Go ahead and do anything. I mean, anything. And, and Brian um, will love you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you so much. And just because you're retiring doesn't mean it's the end. Yes.